Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. All right, so this is going to be a, re a reading for Libra. <laughs> I'm starting already this morning. All right, this will not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest. I hope everybody is doing well. New subscribers, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. All right, let's see what's going on. Please keep in mind that every reading will not resonate with you, okay? The most I have many children, and we have to wait our turn for our messages as well, okay? So, if it doesn't resonate with you, come back later and check with another reading. And if you like how I get on with my readings, please hit that like button for me. I appreciate you. What messages do you have for Libra? Nice, nice. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Page of Pentacles here. So it looks like you got some money coming your way. Uh, it looks like you have uh, financial stability in your near future. You have the Six of Pentacles. Like I told you, somebody's about to give you some money or about to make you an offer when it comes to your finances here. Sweetheart, everything here is finances, okay? Stability, foundation. This may be a step up for you, a change in job, a change in... This is definitely a change in your job, possibly a raise. Five of Swords. Hmm. Maybe a little bit of drama behind this because I see that you may have some people that are quite dramatic for one. Also a little pissed off because you're moving up so fast. You may be a newcomer on the scene. And uh, someone has taken notice in you. You're being watched. Libra, you're always being watched. What is this? You got some nosy ass people. All right. So you have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. You have multiple opportunities coming towards you, okay? Um, there also may be a little bit of confusion about what you should do, which is best for you. I would say think about it, pray about it, talk to the ancestors about it because you are being protected by them as well. Also from these negative energies that are trying to come towards you. Also, there might be a bit of mental conflict here as well, okay? So you have the King of Wands here, which is a beautiful thing because this is actually something that is going to be right along the line that you love, something in the field that you love to do. And also, like I said, there's people that want to collaborate with you. I also see the lovers here, which is pretty cool because, yeah, you got money and love coming your way, babe. All right, sweetheart, I see you. All right, Libra, what's going on with you? Give me the Ten of Pentacles. The lovers. Okay, definitely a decision being made about partnering with someone. Also, like I said, you have love coming in. This may be someone that you're already dealing with here. Um, maybe you're thinking about taking it to the next level, firm foundation, family, and things like that. Settling down with someone. All right, you have justice here, clarifying the page of pentacles along with the six of cups here. Ooh, it looks like you got some good karma coming back to you, sweetheart. Whatever you've invested in in the past, you're about to reap what you've sown. Also, with this uh, relationship thing that's going on here, this is someone that you're very familiar with, feel very comfortable with, okay? And this person has been keeping an eye on you. You've been keeping an eye on this person um, for a long time here, actually. 
And it looks like things are coming to fruition for you. This is beautiful. Also, the page of, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles under judgment here. So this is someone that you actually see as marriage material, something long term. Someone that you could see yourself actually settling down with, okay? And also, when it comes to finances, I think this is something that, a uh, position that you can actually grow in. You might start from the bottom, but I see you elevating quickly. So, if this isn't coming to pass right now, it will be within the next... Huh. I want to say the next three to six months. Definitely within the next six months. Give me the six of pentacles here. Yes, look at this. Look at this. I like it. I see you grounding this foundation. Happy marriage. Happy relationship, overall stability, sweetheart. I see some great things coming for you, okay? Definite elevation. Um, if you are going through any type of financial bind, um, issues in your relationship, I see these things getting better, improving. Also, like I said, ooh, somebody is obsessively watching you. Why is it that you always get this? What you doing? <laughs> this is someone that is uh, quite smitten with you. You have impressed someone um, very much so, I must say. Damn, you always got somebody watching you guys. Y'all got some nosy people around you. I'm just saying. Give me the five of swords. Yeah, see, you got some conflict going on around you, sweetheart, because someone is taking notice in you and want to elevate you. There are some people that are watching you do the things that they should have done to get noticed. Okay, two different scenarios here. Actually, it kind of ties into each other. You got some opportunities that's coming towards you, okay? And you may be all in your head, some mental conflict. Should I take it? Should I not? Weighing your options, trying to figure out, okay, what are the obstacles? What are the pros and cons? And with this being said, you have some jealous people around you watching you. Keeping, uh, keeping an eye on you, watching you build your pinnacles. You may be skipping, how can I say? In other words, you may be in an entry-level position and then go from that straight up to management or straight up to supervisor or right up under the supervisor's wing. And someone here has an issue with that. Sweetheart, you have a decision to make whether you're going to keep traveling down the same path that you've been on, which is going to lead to more lessons, more drama, more headache, or either try something new, okay? You have an opportunity to level up here. And like I said, there's some people here that are sitting there. If you look at this lion's face, this lion is kind of pissed off, but you're chasing your dreams. You're going after what it is you want. You have a goal in mind. So you're not settling for less. You're not settling, staying in the same position. You're trying to level up here. But like I said, there may be some adversity, some naysayers, some people that are in your ear. Oh, I don't think you should do this. And you may hear a little bit of gossip about you. Never mind that. All right. Just keep it pushing. You know that those are people that you don't need in your circle. OK, keep it pushing. Cut them off. Put some distance between them and let them watch your work, sweetheart. OK, do your thing. Just make a decision to move forward. Give me more on this Queen of Wands. Yes, move forward. There's opportunities that are coming towards you, okay? There's doors that are going to be opening up for you that um, are not for other people to step through. Your ancestors are walking before you, guiding you, opening up doors for you and opportunities. And there's someone here that does not... believe okay 
I'm going to say something and I'm getting ready to piss off a bunch of people, but oh well, it is what it is. There's someone here that doesn't have faith in their ancestors. That they are being divinely guided to level up. It's time that you learn about your people, where they're from, your background, and be open to talk to them and ask them for guidance. Don't get stuck on religion, get stuck on spirituality. Because you have sources here that are helping you, sweetheart, opening doors for you, paving the way. Those that came before you, Move it forward. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I see a lot of determination to get unstuck. You have goals. You have plans that you want to achieve. But... You may feel that there's obstacles in your way. There aren't. There's delays for a reason. Huh. All right. You have strength in reverse. You might be a bit intimidated. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. Be willing to learn. Take on new things. Okay. I see that there's some confusion here. So you may be... Um, not taking that leap forward, okay? Holding back. Um, unsure about the decisions that you need to make here. About an opportunity. I'm not sure if that's right for me. Mental conflict happening here. Let me tell you something. If it's not for you, it's not for you. You can always move on, okay? But learn everything that you can learn. There's people along your path that need to see what you're doing, see, hear what you're, you need to say. Your life experiences, that joy, that whatever it is that you bring to the table, when you open your mouth, um, you speak words of wisdom, wisdom, or you should. Encouragement and enlightenment. Having someone look at things from a new perspective. And you're being guided on this path for that reason, for one, for your elevation and also for others along the way. Someone here is about to get a reality check by watching you move forward. And you may be the catalyst for them to put a fire up under them to get them to move forward to where they're supposed to be. You also have someone coming towards you, like I said. Look at this. You have someone coming towards you that wants to speak words of love, words of wisdom, assurance that you're okay. You're in a safe space. No matter what it looks like, if you're in the face of adversity, sweetheart, things are about to change for you. And the celebration is on the horizon, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to pull some monology for you. And then I'm going to get out of here. But I see a lot of growth, potential for growth here in love and also finances. Keep moving forward. And always know that you have someone watching you for whatever reason. Wherever you go, you know what? What are your spirit guides, angels, ancestors might be the one that's keeping a close eye on you, guiding you, pushing you out of situations where, okay, you might find yourself in situations where you are a bit uncomfortable, needing to leave, not satisfied in certain areas, and you're needing to move on. These are your people telling you it's time to move. We have something else for you. You're being guided to a certain area, a certain place. Um, a certain lifestyle. Oh my goodness, sorry. All right, so it says the answers you need are coming. All right, so you're going to find out why you're on this journey, what this mission is about. Time to give rather than to take. Yes, so wherever you are, sweetheart, like I said, there's someone here that is coming into your life. You may not know why, 
but you are a source of inspiration. You also may need to check someone, give them a reality check and not necessarily like, okay, well, I'm going to tell this person about themselves. No, being your direct self, okay? Just being who you are, how you communicate is really going to give somebody um, a reality check here. All right, it's time to take action. No more sitting on your behind, sweetheart. You got decisions to make here. Like I said, that two of, of uh, wands there. It's time for you to take action and move forward. Doors are opening for you and opportunities only last for so long. If you don't take it, that opportunity shall leave and it will never come back again. Okay, so I got to tell you, if source, God, universe, whoever your higher power is, if they have opportunities for you and you seem to like, you know what, this is not for me. Eh, I, don't, I don't want it. They'll stop offering. Okay and choose someone else from your lineage to go ahead and be a blessing to the ones that come for you. You may have children, you may have grandchildren, okay? Or maybe you're starting out on the family or maybe you're wanting to. Um, just know that you will one day be an ancestor to guide them along their way as well. So gain as much wisdom and knowledge and be open to receive it from your ancestors as well so that you can be a helpmate for those to come after you. A personal issue reaches resolution. So like I said, if you're going through any financial issues right now, there's an opportunity coming up for you. If you're longing for a relationship, something stable, um, tired of people going in and out of your life, or if there's someone here that you're really wanting to, you know, lock down or whatever it is, the opportunity is coming for this decision here, okay? All right, my love, take care, bye.